YouTube, how's it going? Today we're going to be playing Total War Warhammer 3 and it's going to be the first series in our playlist campaign that we're going to do. It's going to be fairly long videos so you guys can just open it and chill and watch in your own time. I play chill so I'm not going to be playing on the hardest difficulty. If you watch that shit, go watch it somewhere else. I don't care. Okay, that's, that's not a good way to keep the retention but you know it is what it is so we're gonna start a new campaign i already have a campaign that i've been playing on my own but i want to start a new one um mainly on immortal empires In the name of Magnus. let's go kislev kislev was of the so kislev starts in this area the ice court I know that I, like there's demons of chaos over there, the high elves are over here. If you wanna read about the lore, you can pause the video if you're watching it on YouTube, just to read about the lore. Um, I'm just gonna go in. Faction effects, lord effects. They're just the things that start. Oh wait, I didn't change the settings. Um, we don't talk about that. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's the Warhammer lore in Total War. Like, the Warhammer lore is really big, especially the. Um, so it has the 40k lore, and then it also has, I forgot what this one was called. But the 40k is like more in the future, more Space Marines and shit. They're Orky boys. That's why they're like they're they're a bit dumbed down. That's why there's a few factions. The orcs are usually called some dumb stuff. Um, if we can find them, we will actually see. I can't remember the orc faction names right now off the top of my head. But basically, oh, if you've seen this game for the first time, it's a real-time strategy game. You have a whole ass map. Uh, defeat an army belonging to the... I should have actually read the previous one because I don't know how the Kislev faction works. Our enemies, our enemies gather to strike against us, attack first and deny them the opportunity, yep, okay. So you're on the map, you have territories, you move your units, you build your units, you build your settlements. And then when it comes to war, you can choose to either auto-resolve, which the AI does it for you, or you fight the war yourself. What do you have to do? Um, so... Each faction has their own victory conditions. Um, let's check uh, Kislev's ones because I don't know them as well. So for short campaign victory, at the start of your turn, have at least 600 supporters. We'll find out what that means somewhere, probably. Occupy, loot, raise or sack 30 different settlements. We're going to go for occupying because I usually don't raise or sack them. For the long victory campaign, we need to achieve the short victory conditions uh which obviously occupy 70 different settlements destroy the following factions so the legion of chaos the war host of apocalypse they're so far away where's the legion of chaos it's on the other side of the map why am i tasked with defeating these their static legions are a bit closer and the fesundites these are just north of the empire these are like the chaos lords i'm guessing yep and domination is just having 272 settlements. Ba 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 baby bomb. Alright, so. Rebellion against me is how do Ice Court play? Uh, battle against the chaos, forces of chaos and construct religious buildings. Oh, so we're like a religious Russian group. To accumulate devotion. What's devotion? Devotion to the motherland is built by Kislevite factions as they perform max that strengthen their kingdom. Once gained, devotion may be used to perform invocations of the motherland and gain supporters. I read that, but <laughs> nothing registered, bro. <laughs> oh, so it's up there. Okay. So that's what devotion is. This is devotion. Got it. So when we fight against chaos, we get devotion. Use invocations of the motherland. 
So that button over there to gather supporters in favor of your faction and receive faction wide bonuses. Um, ice switches in the ice court. That's the ice court. Granting them powerful traits before they come. Okay. Appoint Ottomans. They sound like Ottomans. Appointed. That's not unlocked yet. To govern your provinces and provide. Okay, cool. So let's click this. Okay, this faction's kind of confusing. Salyak Ersun Tor. Oh, okay, it's not that hard. Um, so what I gather is, you just get supporters, then you use one of this, and then you get a buff for ten turns. That's basically what it is. It looks kind of confusing, but it's not. I think. And then we have the ice core. Before Christos Podcaster can be recruited, they must be sent to the high school for training. Here, each candidate will have the opportunity to acquire a number of. Natali oh, I didn't mean to do that, but I guess we're training Natalia von Naimorovic. <laughs> Bro doesn't have any vowels in her name. Okay, cool. Now let's check the technology tree. At least we have his vote of confidence, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is what it is. So we also, so we do have the ice sculpting already. Uh, unlocks an ice court training slot for Frost Maiden heroes. So I guess that's the thing that we just did. And what do these do? Melee defense plus four. Casualty refreshment, growth plus 10, missile resistance. Ice court in doctrine, ice. Oh, the, we get leopards. Okay. Discipline, income from trade, Paris, campaign line of sight. They, these things we'll get to later on. Let's just get growth. We need growth. Growth is always good. Use this wisely, my people. Keith Lev. Alright, so. With every faction, your first mission is usually just to take out an army that's close by, that you're usually at war with. So, they also have free settlements right next to Zavatstra and Kislev. Okay, so we have two settlements. Kislev is our main capital and Zavatstra is Zavatstra. Alright, let's get this on the way and we'll fight our first um, we'll fight our first battle what units do we have pistol and axe pistol and axe armored cossar pistol and great mace they're all hybrid units now range range missile strength bow and dual swords and then we have a shock cavalry and a snow leopard. Okay, let's go. He shouldn't have too many. Person Ling. We have come to take your blood. For you corrupt these lands. In the name of Sergei. There's our snow leopard. Uh, she could stay in front of them. So, all my units are pretty much. Why is it so gloomy though? Like, why is it so red and dusty? There's trees there. Um, no, it's not like Empire Earth. Empire Earth is more of a real time strategy. Uh, this one, you already have. I'll show you in a second. We just went to war with this faction real quick, so we're gonna have to fight the war out. So these 
these are ranged units. Uh, their formation doesn't have to change. Uh, we'll put the horseman on the flank. There's our queen, our ice queen. Zarina Katarina. Where the fuck did she go? Katarina, okay. She's the czar of our faction. And she's gonna be in the back lines in this battle. Let's check out our units as well. So these are armored Kossars. Looking very Russian and Turkish at the same time. I guess that's kind of like the theme. These are our bowmen, our Kossars. Our bow and axe infantry. When the enemy gets too close, they take the axes out. And then, wait, did we look at these guys? Uh, oh, these are women. Ice gods. Okay, okay, slay. And these are the armored Kossards with great weapons. Okay, cool, 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 cool. They look so dope, man. We will make Mother Kislev proud. And here's our royal winged lancers. They're not gonna do much in this battle. Um, so yeah, let's start the battle. Take a look at their units. For generations, Kislev has endured unspeakable horrors. Tell them, Katarin. Wait, you guys are actually just waiting for me? Holy shit, what the fuck are these? Do I have anti-large? No. I don't. Oh, my snow leopard is anti-large. One snow leopard versus 16 big trolls. And they have horsemen as well. Alright, cool. I guess they're waiting for us, so we gotta move first. The people's ruler. Let's move up around here. Very well. we'll speed up time as well, so we don't have to actually wait for them. Oh shit, they're actually moving now. You guys can shoot, you know. Where's my snow leopard? Swords out? Nice, okay, cool. Alright, they started fleeing. Keep keep firing, keep firing, snow leopard, go. No one runs. You shall pay for Where's my horses? Oh these these guys are still trying to fight my horses. Oh wait, they have horses as well. Shit, okay. I didn't realize. Whatever asks, bring them down. Moving. Katarin, engage the Lord. No, no, engage the Lord. I need you there. Let's charge into them again. Why are you going for them? And this unit got obliterated. Yep, they're definitely not kind of the nice kind of trolls. Where's their horsemen? There they are. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Hey, who's shooting my ice guards? Oh, it's the fucking... This guy. Wait, why are they coming back? Turn around. My horsemen! 
Oh, their leaders run away. That's why they all just started to retreat. No one runs away. What is my snow leopard doing? Horsemen kill every single one of these traitorous bastards. Except them. I'm not running after them. Hey, yo, get the leader though. Wait, what happened to my ammo? Shoot him! There we go. Oh, you're getting fucked. Okay, Ice Queen. Yo, she surfed up on him. How's he still alive though? Does she have any abilities? She does, and I didn't use it. Oh, he's dead. The enemy general has fallen. Why are there survivors? Go Snow Leopard. Alright, we don't need to watch the rest of this. Nice, that's our first battle done. An easy victory, only 70 losses. I feel like most of the losses... I did myself. So 10, 20, 30, 14, I guess. I don't know what units are actually good in the Kislev faction. Once this loads, hopefully today, I don't know why the load times are so long, like my PC specs are not that bad as well. Rugger Oscarson, we didn't manage to get all of them, they did end up running away, I don't know if their unit is going to get um, destroyed, but Got rid of some trolley boys. Is my oh I didn't even check if my webcam is in a good position. It's not not for this game. That's not my webcam. Where does one put the webcam down here for this one? No, because then Hold on, let me just get rid of this army replenishment devotion. Uh, they will serve the mother. Okay, so we just died. Go for enemy killed in battle. Nice. So, because there's buttons there, I actually need to move. I mean, this was still good. I guess. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. Okay, so I don't know, Momo, if you're still here. You serve me well, um, so this is the world that we play on. Most of it is fog of war right now. There is like uh, everyone has like these units. You can build an army. This is your army, and you get movement. So, the green area, you see it, is how far I can move her. Um, and there's settlements, like Vitevo. So, if, you're, if I control this settlement, it will control this region for my faction. So, as you can see, I'm controlling Zavastra. And it's like, these are my borders. So, in technicality, the aim is to just get all the borders that you can. Um, let's invoke something... I don't have trades at the moment or buildings. Growth would be good. Your invocation draws the benevolence of the Winter Gods upon your people. While it persists, it brings an opportunity to win support in your struggle against your bitter rivals. Kislev needs growth. Recruitment costs minus 20, construction costs minus 10. Income generated. 
with, we definitely need an income um, building. But Kislev only has this building, so it's going to need some military buildings as well. War slays, little Grom. Heavy war slays. What is this? Oh, siege artillery pulled by polar bears. Okay, okay, okay. Ice guard, ice guard swords. These are tier 5. So these are like later on. Elemental bear. We got war bear riders. These are more like the Mongols, I guess. Gun, great axe infantry. They look like a decent gun infantry unit. These are the swords that we can have. But first things first, we need growth with minus 10% for buildings and then we get resource. What's the landmark saying? Okay, look at that later. And Zavastra hasn't got anything. Cool. Wait, how many regions does this place hold? I don't know shit about book. Yeah. It'd be that kind it's of heavy. game. Alright, let's get all this information off my route marcher is always the first skill we go. Quests are later on. What level does she unlock the quest? Seven and ten. And no items so far. We're gonna Can I attack this turn? Or do be I wanna proud, men of Oh shit, we can attack this turn. Decisive victory. Um Oh those trolls again, this spearmen. I can auto resolve, but I do want to fight this. Actually, I'll auto resolve the next one. Kislev endures now and forever. <coughs> Easy. Okay. The Occupy the settlement. The motherland grows as it shall under my leadership. There's so many buildings to make. Usually, it's just you just put growth in, and then it's. It's all good, but it's like control and growth. We need corruption uh, to go down. Oh, this one generates income as well. That's actually quite dope. We we'll go for that one. Assign skill points. Leader of renown would be good. With this, I guard Kislev. Commandment. Yep. So the commandment is like when you control a whole region, you can set a commandment, which is this little bit here that gives you buffs for that region. And it's usually always good to go grow first, but apparently Kislev doesn't have that. Um, we don't have corruption here. Recruitment cost, control, plus four. Don't really need control. Uh, let's just go for gold and then turn. So now all the other factions in the game are gonna take a turn, just like I did. But their ones are obviously faster paced. And then it's gonna be our turn again, and then we get movement, etc., etc. We build an army, do what we need to do. Right. <sighs> So hot in the UK today, man. Yeah, so look, this is another ogre faction. Bone Rattlers. But they spell it like Bone Rattlers. Oh wait, I was meant to choose. Tempest. No, we want a nice maiden. Yeah. 
none shall question me. We are both servants. You and I. Because we don't have any military buildings, we can't really make. Um, can expand. It's a hybrid unit, but they're really weak. The upkeep is a lot as well. Holy shit, okay. Yeah, instead, I think we just move on. And we take Fort Jakova. Question is, can we take it? I think we can. Or do we go for Igero first? Nah, we go full send. Let's go. Casualties high, it's a Pyrrhic victory because they have rules. No, we're gonna wait a turn to make a siege engine. Strike them down. Continue. And end turn. How's everyone's day been? Wait, is that gyrocopter? Oh wait, he's attacking me first. Ay ay ay. Why are you being nosy about my day? Bruh, sometimes a brother gonna be nosy, you know. Maybe I wanna scam you for your good and belongings. My day has been going pretty good, work's going slow though. How about yours? Let me land, G. <laughs> Let me land. Let me land. You don't know why I want to know. Why your day is going English messed up? Okay. Um, I would want to actually fight this battle, but I don't trust myself enough to do that. I guess we would have won either way. Um, work's going slow, Mandy. Apart from that lady that you just had to deal with. It is mine. The one who right. phone, called my phone. That sounds like every other day though. I'm not at war with the Bone Rattlers, am I? The Bone Rattlers. Karakraziak. Okay, wait, so I took the fort because, oh. Nice. We like those. We like those. Let's get another growth building in. But we want to also start generating devotion. Um. And some control actually in this building. Defy chaos. Now, another part of my plan was to actually go to Igaro from here, but I think I'm gonna let my army rest for a turn at least before we do anything because half of the units are gone. Am I like bringing up a lord? No, I'm bringing up a hero. Oh. Nah, she's a battler. She's gonna join the ranks. The Tsarina. It is mine. She came back for another room after I checked her in. Said there wasn't enough parking and she wasn't walking to the room. What does she want? You to fly her to the room? Like, you know, do you have like a shopping trolley? You know, like, just put her in the shopping trolley and just yeet her down the stairs. Not enough parking. Your rival calls upon the gods and they begin to sway the support of the Kislev people against you. Be sure to respond in kind. Wait, why is... Who the fuck is... 
this. My guy, why are you doing shit? Okay, so he's like another Kislev faction, but he's... He's doing stuff to oppose me. Now, you could do all the things you want. You could make all these invocations, but at the end of the day, my army is just going to come and trample yours. Like, it's like 2 plus 2 is 4, but it's 5 if I bang you in the face. You know? <laughs> it suits me. One leg. Over. Oh wait, his left can be level two yet? No. Next turn. Okay. Not bad. We'll do this. I actually need to recruit people as well. Nah, no, she wanted to pipe right in front of her room, not two doors down. There was one truck in the entire parking lot. You see people like that? I never understand, Move. man. I command it. It's like I feel like they just want problems just for problems. It's like, how's your day been going? Just smacks you in the face. That's how my day's been going. They will fall. You won't perform the most fatigue you and never lose vigor. Ooh, Vanguard deployment is a shout. Yep. And turn. She checks in often, but complains about everything. Yeah, I'm sorry, you have to deal with people like that, to be honest. Wolfric, come on, Wolfric. Oh, technology researched. Uh, melee defense. Or missile resistance. I'm not gonna have any of those units. Ice courts, ice cade collars, casual to refresh. Let's go with this as well as it gives growth. The great Orthodox we like growth, it Mistress causes our settlements to grow. So the higher your growth is, the less turns it takes to get population, which in turn you use to upgrade your settlements. It's alright to be honest, it gives me something to laugh about at the end of the day. True, like you come into my stream and you talk about this person and, you know, something to talk about at the end of the day. Which is always nice, we're gonna fight this one. Because I need to get used to the mechanicals of this unit. <laughs> God, it's getting late here. I usually don't get tired until a bit later, but. Yeah, you've been, with, you've been through worse. So what do we have? It's the same the thing, but I think the tree messes things up. So I actually want to advance into the trees instead and be the one to actually fire down. So let's just start. Let's move forward. They're gonna probably move towards me as well. Apparently not. You tell him, bae! Don't disappoint Ursun, Selak, and all the other gods. Onwards! Oh shit. Ah, fucking ads. I forgot about them. Just as soon as we join the battle, if you're watching this on YouTube, you don't have to deal with it unless YouTube has conveniently placed an ad on this video as well. Um, now.
not me. Uh, let's move a bit more so I can actually start firing on them. I like shooting things, okay? How much range do I need? Just a bit more? And they're just waiting to be shot down. Like, we like those. Oh, they started moving. How about we use our ice queen soon? Like, the only thing that I'm actually scared of is their horses, because I can't keep track of horses. Welcome back, Mandy. Yeah, <laughs> finally I could watch the battle. Yeah. I didn't do anything, I just advanced forward. Um what we wanna do is we don't wanna use it yet. Why isn't anyone shooting? Hello? Start shooting people. Come on. There we go. What are these horses doing? The motherland's finest! Oh, they're getting Don't shot down. I need to help them. For the people! Armas Gotas! Sarina Katarin! Let's use this ability real quick. Oof! Her frost ability is so good. actually getting messed up. I was meant to win this by a mile. I'm about to use it, use it. What are you guys doing? Just chilling over there. Take my frost! My snow leopard's going to work. I don't want to charge the spearmen. For the motherland. Oh shit. Fuck. They flanked me. Fuck. Turn around. They started to run away. My snow leopard is doing bits. Why are you running? What happened to the flanking? Yeah, we need to get rid of those horses. Go, Snow Leopard. Now we show no mercy. Kill them all. No one runs away. Kill as much as we can. Especially this guy. Charge into them. I have like bows and riflemen. You treacherous human beings. Alright, we took out that whole unit. My snow leopard did work. Hardly took any damage and it's just taking on units. What a gangster. They ran away, bunch of pussies. My ice guards almost died. They're meant to be quite strong as well. Hey, hey, she slays so much though. Like when she moves, she's like, I'm not walking. I'm just gonna surf, bro. Alright, we can 
just the end of that one now. Easy win. But everyone's like on starting units right now. This is about to get hard when like my units start to fall off. But I think like the higher tier units of this faction is actually pretty good. Saying that, my game crashed. Well then. Hmm? Oh, it's a turn before. I bet, 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 bet. Awesome, I'll try to be here almost every night then. I enjoy Warhammer. Would have been cooler if you were doing Vampire Coast, Counts, Wood Elves, Lizard Men, or Tomb Kings. Those are the ones I'm most interested to see played, but I'd like to see Kids Left too. Oh, that would be great if you do um, pop down almost whenever you can. To be honest, it's always appreciated. I was thinking about Vampire Coast. I haven't played them either. But we battle. literally started uh, like an hour ago. So when I started streaming and the chat wanted to see Kislev, the Ice Queen. So that's what we went with. Um... But yeah, that'll be dope. I'm gonna auto resolve this because this is the battle that we just did and the game crashed. So decisive. The uh, motherland fights as well. Yeah. Okay. I still need My to get used to this devotion. Um, the devotion system. And that's the first faction destroyed, the first enemy that the game actually gave us. Which unlocks the Atomans. When an Ataman position becomes available, a choice of four candidates displayed on the Ataman panel. Left click on a candidate to select them, and then left click on a province to assign them a post. So I'm guessing it's like a mayor. Once appointed, optional dilemmas will appear from time to time. Yeah, L crash in the chat. <laughs> Uh, let's all we have Alexander Kiryakin. I am butchering these names so hard. Oh, these are like empires, so I have to put like a mayor in these different regions. Oh, we gotta go Sergei. Sergei with growth. River Urksoy, please. And then we will get one of the other ones into Oblast. Sergey for the win, 100%. We already have a decent growth in Oblast. There we go. Alright, we're gonna look for trades now. Uh, what do we want for... Technology. I don't know if Kislev is actually like a... Because they have a lot of hybrid units. And I like it like the high elves, but I don't know if I should be focusing on that because I don't know what the actual strong units are. But for now, I'm actually going to go for something that's going to improve our production in general. Diplomacy or early units? Hmm. Oh, yeah. The campaign against the North. Isn't the North uh, where the chaos is? And vassalize the Wood Elves to yourself to be a buffer against Vlad till you can destroy or vassalize him. Yeah, Vlad's a pain in the ass. Um, and he does actually go through the Empire. So we want early units research first, or diplomacy, which would be like trade tariffs. Not war slays. Campaign movement range isn't that bad. What do we get from these? I don't like the leopards. Oh, we get empire relations. These would actually be good as well. Lord recruit ranks, leadership for Zargards, 
more growth is always good. Wait, I thought I was researching this already. What did I research instead? Wait, what the hell? Okay. So we'll go for casual to replenishment rate and growth. A little bit of growth in the beginning is always good. For Kislev, we got a growth building. Let's go for the second settlement. On side skill points. Ah, uh, do I want to rush quarter master and lightning strike? Not sure. Her ice maiden's kiss is really good, but we also want inspiring presence. God, after the first three skills, I always just lose where I'm meant to go. Like with the empire, I went full ammunition, like buffed up the rifleman. I think we go another into at least corruption because I do have some luxury corruption somewhere around here. Oh, I don't anymore, apparently. We're gonna get the commandment for... Let's see. So you might want to not score off rip. Yeah. Let's go with control for now since we're on L control and then high school range of missile strength nah she has vanguard deployment I want her melee so wait who these are Kislev these are my ops So who would my ops actually be? Because I know Vlad is like right here somewhere. The Wood Elves are these dudes. So USA vassalize the Wood Elves. If we can. To create like this wall between Vlad who is down here in southern Sylvania. And then the north. These guys are something about the motherland and they're ahead I don't know how they're getting these points but it is what it is I think there's Skaven in these yeah I see Skaven corruption yep alright cool what we want to do is just end turn first we have good income to build a slightly good army. Azazel or whatever his name is northeast of you, you might want to take care of him to before it becomes an issue. Yeah, I think campaign in north first and just keeping south in check is the play here. I mean, I'm not playing on a hard difficulty. Devotion here. to the motherland is high. So it shouldn't be too much. Okay, temple off is destroyed. I have at least 150 devotion. I shouldn't have used my devotion. The Cedar region. Or else I could actually build buildings? Or is it just promote? Hmm. So they give. Furs. Oh, we have landmarks in Kislev. I think the south is going to require more attention with the green skins here as well. So let's get which one? Fort Jakova. That's already going to be two. We want Vitevro for now. None shall question me. And then we should move in back to towards Kislev. Azazel. So 
Oh, there's the Norse car. I think Chaos was... Wait, let's check our victory conditions real quick. Was of a couple... There, all the way there. Legion of Chaos. It's there. Now, these are the actual problems. Just past the Skaven, we have the... The Seductive Lot. I forgot their names right now. And then we have the Nurgles. The Fasundites, which are just north of the Empire. Or oh, slap bang in the middle. Hopefully they keep them under control. In my Empire campaign, they got overrun and it was just me and Elspeth in the bottom left. Just fending for ourselves. So hopefully they can actually keep that place in check. While we do everything else. Now let's look for some quick deals. The Empire! Uh, non-aggression pack with Oster marked. That's easy money. Yeah, we want some trade deals with Reichland. Carl. Greetings yep. from Sigma. Thank you. Military access. You don't need that. I'll give it to you when I need money. Carl Hans. It's highly unlikely you'll be able to keep peace with Wolfric or vassalize him, but if you want to try to get better units for your armies, you could try to keep friendly with him and vassalize him. But it's still unlikely, so I'll just take it and spend time with desires a change in your mutual relations. Why are you so scared? No, Non-aggression pact, sure. But if I do that, then... These guys are gonna be like... Whatever. I mean, the aim of the game... For me is... Just build armies... Then... The slow everyone in our way. And but how, how do we... To your many conflicts with the ruinous powers. Oh... For millennia, your Wait, kin have so if we vassalize them... The can we use their units? Let me look at our unit... Uh... Garrison details... So our unit, our best units are like ice guards. They're only tier three. And we only have one siege artillery. Hmm. Elemental bear is a tier four. So we don't actually have like proper good units because I had ice swords and they almost nearly got wiped out just now. So if we take, if we just take Norskar what happens? Something here, no, we can't. Okay, cool. We are one, people. We are one people. I need Katarina to go back into Kislev. In the names of Ursun, mm. Saliak, Daj, and Thor, I condemn you. What does he want? Greenskin. Dead Mons. Okay, so before we even have to worry about the North, um, Ashag from the Bone Rattlers, he's obviously gonna cause us some problems. He's threatening me. He's like, give me money. So we gotta teach them a lesson. Strength Frank, 40. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, if I think um, like if through military alliance you make outposts and through the outposts you make like you obviously recruit their units and stuff. 
I thought the Norska units wasn't that good. Um, I would like some Empire units though. Especially their steam tanks and their artillery, the rockets. Um, he wants money. How much money do I have? Bro, we don't pay up. Oh, he has a full stack ready to invade. I mean, I was earning in, <laughs> I was earning like 2k a turn. Maybe we were just smart about it first. Um, I had 18k. I did not really need this. He's going straight for Fort Jakova. If I force march, Do not tarry. I can From just here, about make it. I rule. We need to put walls in Fort Jakova, clearly. Even though it's going to take a One while. Minute. And I can't recruit because we're in force march. Is he just gonna skip? Kislev still needs you. Where should the effort resources be channeled? Data one must take ta 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 ta. Reinforce the defenses. That's not gonna do anything for me. I need recruitment costs right now. <coughs> Sergey! Faction encountered. Where? Oh, it's just these borders. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, with uh, there, I think we should be able to take one round of battering, maybe, with the garrison. No, okay, we got a heroic victory on auto resolve. Um, but without auto resolve, what kind of victory do I get? Is the question. I'm looking to fight this. Oh, oh, it's a siege battle. I don't like siege battles, man. And if I'm getting an auto victory, heroic victory, I think I take this. They have catapults as well. Um, yeah, so friend of story is up to you, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Now. Before I even get there, I have to deal with this guy. I think I take the heroic victory on auto resolve because I do not trust myself to win this battle at all. They have reinforcements, they have three heroes or lords. And what do I have? I don't have shit. Yeah, well, I think we take this. We take this. Only 341 lost, so maybe I'm actually underestimating my army. Because we do. The ice cards killed. 352. The armored cards came in clutch. The great weapons came in clutch. Okay, so not bad. Not bad. I think Katarine could have done more. And the lance as well, but I'll take that. We don't need replenishments. We'll take unit experience because he's gonna back off. But now we go back in. But I didn't recruit. I need to recruit. But I don't. The the early units for uh, Kislev is so bad, in my opinion. Trust built between diplomatic parties opens the door to further cooperation. A trade agreement may be possible with your foreign partners. You Let have... your merchants flourish, for I industry drives war. 
Uh, we actually need a military building along with defense. Um, I think they're only tier 2 in a tier 3 building. Missile strength is 17. Um, so if we go to... I'll make the cost our heart first. We'll upgrade this for more income even though we have a lot. Get more growth in Kislev. Get the economy booming for Kislev. Enemy killed in battle, enemy killed in battle. Yep, 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 yep. Recruit 30 new, new units. I will if I can. Alright, I can. So, Kossars. Let's just recruit two Kossars. For one turn. Get Draft Master and Quarter Master. A gift from Kislev's great gods. The Tsar Gods isn't bad. Uh, I don't know what hallowed wood buildings are. They're horsemen. We, wait, are these even. Do I even have access to them? Yeah, I do. The great orthodoxy provides. Da 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 da. We just end our turn, we recruit this turn and then after we uh, finish recruiting we will advance into green skin territory. Uh, Vermillion says, well sadly I gotta go, I'll be eating in a moment, I may be back after, if not I'll be on tomorrow or Sunday, as for units it's not necessarily true, they're bad, just need to use more strategy with them, yeah, I guess, well thank you for dropping by, have a nice meal. And um, I'll be, if you miss any, I will try to upload them onto YouTube. Uh, there should be my YouTube link somewhere. I, it's going to be like my first video on there because I've like freshly cleaned it out. Um, oh, shit. Um, <laughs> so I said, I swear to God, the ads are so <laughs> frustrating. They just come in and go at the worst times. So we got into a battle earlier and then the ads just went in and it was like, okay. Yeah, so they are solid minute long too, yeah. Uh, they they could be longer, like Twitch goes crazy with them. So yeah, Vermillion, as I was saying, like, um, thank you for dropping by. I don't know if you heard that bit. Um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be down, like, I should be streaming tomorrow night. And just whenever you can make it, if you do miss an episode, uh, I'll be, I'm going to try and upload them part by part onto YouTube as well. Kind of like long episodes, full playthroughs, just so people can chill and watch them at their own leisure. Um, but apart from that, yeah, um, I might end this uh, episode here as well with the green skins just attacking us to our southeast. All right, so I think I'll leave it here. We had a crash midway. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that. I'll just have to edit out, I guess. But yeah, so we'll leave on green skins being cunts to us. Um, I think they only have two or three settlements. And then we look towards the north while securing the southwest. Yep, let me just deal with this. Let's add walls and yeah. All right, thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the first episode if you're watching on YouTube or the first stream if you're watching on Twitch uh, of our Kislev campaign. Um, gonna try and upload as much as possible. I'll be streaming every night or at least probably like every night and then a day break and then every night again or something, just see how far I can go with it, but keep consistent. Boom! Did I save the game? No, there's auto-save.